everybody tell James, Mr. James Chopping, happy birthday. It's his birthday. Happy birthday, birthday to me. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear James. Happy birthday to you. Uh -oh. Thank you. <laughs> Battery. Oh. There. Liz Nesbitt, I love pipes. I want one so bad. How do I connect with you? Well, if you're looking for a pipe puppy, you don't have any at the moment. If you're looking to produce a pipe with one of our studs, then the phone numbers at the very front opening of all this in the very end, you just call that number. Derek Braveheart, can oh, you... Oh, sorry. What? That took off too fast. Uh, can you go with the fact that colour has nothing to do with structure? What's... What's sold the brindle and hide based off the fact that breeders said they would have the best structure? Well, okay, so the first thing is, I don't know about the particular dog you're buying. Maybe you had some choices and uh, he was saying, well, the, of my puppies, the, the ones that I think have the best structure have, uh, have excuse me, brindle, have brindle. So that could be one thing, but but when I said that pied color has to do a structure, the point here is is that color is not a structure thing. Color is a color thing. Color it, it'd color. be like saying that blue-eyed people have better physiques than brown-eyed people, and of course that's not the case. Whether you have a brown eye or blue eye just depends on the color of your parents, not about their structure. It's the same thing with a dog. Whether a dog's a blue dog or not, it's got nothing to do with the structure of the dogs. It has only to do with a particular gene that throws the blue gene, the little, the little dilution gene, a little deep. Um, right, enough of that. Uh, Anna, can a feeding mum dog bring any kind of disease home to young puppies, either on her feet or if she was playing outside with other dogs? Considering the fact that she has all of her possible vaccinations. Do I still need to wash her feet after she walks outside the house in the city? Well, it's a good question. So, um, for us, when we have uh, puppies on board, we've got mum with, uh, with babies, our mum does not leave outside of our backyard. She stays in our backyard for lots of reasons. What, one of them is, is that you don't want her wandering off not coming back and feeding the puppies. But the other one is, is just because she's vaccinated, that would presumably stop her from getting something like distemper or uh, um, parvo. But she can still carry those germs and, and bacteria and viruses on her feet and on her skin and then give it to your puppies. So if if you are intended to take her out for a walk, which is well, fine. I'm wondering if it's apartment people and they've got an area that's strictly for their, you know, other yeah, dogs but, running but, around. Yeah, so. but I mean, it, it, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't take a mum that got babies to a to a part, puppy park, mm -hmm. period, because you're just asking for trouble. If you want to go take her out for a walk on the street, I think it's unlikely that she's going to pick anything up. And sure, wipe her feet off when she comes in, just like you wipe, wash, wash your feet. If she's not been rolling around in a thing, you're completely fine. Uh, but remember that any time that your dog goes somewhere else, then just like you and me, look, I've been vaccinated for um, coronavirus, but it doesn't, but it means that if I go outside, uh, if I stay in my house, I have no chance of pres pres presumably getting coronavirus. I, I don't want to act like that's what I do, but I'm just bringing a point out here. So, the more t anytime you go out anyway, you or your dog, you can bring things home that could infect your other family members or your puppies. So, so I, I would just be cautious. Um, Bam Frenchy World says, I have a lilac male, AA, Big B, little B, little C, little C, little D, little D, big E, M, little E, no pie, no brindle. Okay. And she's got a, a sable female that is one copy of Coco, two Ds, L4, no pie, no brindle. What should I expect? Well, the answer is um, you would expect to get, uh, I've got to look at the all blues. Every dog's going to be blue. No dogs will be brindle, no dogs will be pied. Um, some of the dogs are going to be ATAs and have 10 points. Some of them are going to be AYAs and they will be probably solid colors. And half the litter is going to be COCO, 
So half the litter are gonna be um, lilacs. So you're gonna get blues that carry cocoa and lilacs, um, of which uh, some of them are gonna be cream carriers and some of them are gonna be uh, fluffies because she carries out four. There you go. Okay, finishing up this stuff. Um, somebody here is talking about a puppy they've got that when it's, uh, it's finished eating, it runs around and it throws up. Should I be worried? Well, um, look, anytime that a puppy's throwing up, you, you know, that's worrisome, right? It's one of those things that if it continuously goes on, you've got to find out what the problem is. So, you know, there is a thing called mega esophagus, um, and that could be the problem. That could be um, found out by an ultrasound. Mega esophagus is where you have an enlarged gullet, and the food hangs up in that, and it doesn't drain properly into the stomach. And so when they run around, they start uh, throwing it up. Um, what you might try and doing is feeding less more frequently and see whether that stops that and see if you can get her out of this phase of uh, throwing up. So I'd do that. Um, let's see what else we got here. Somebody else, somebody's asking about um, uh, cord one and PRA and all those. I'm gonna do a whole thing on, on disease panels. So I'm gonna do a separate video because this is a fairly long subject. We'll do a separate video on that. Uh, somebody else who says, um, I've never had any problems. Um, I never checked uh, my dog's semen. I have a couple of microscopes. Well, I mean, I would recommend that you do at least look at it, get an idea about what it looks like and, and, and get a feel for, very quickly you'll get a feel for what it should look like. Um, you know, visually, if you pull from a dog and it's very clear, almost certainly there's very little semen in there and it's probably of no value, but that's confirmed by um, looking under a microscope. And of course, you get more valuable information, not just the quantity, but how it's moving. You know, whether it's moving in one nice direction properly or it's spinning around in circles, whether you have double head split tails, uh, those are all good things to know, which you could no idea of if you didn't look under a microscope. So I recommend you, since you've got a microscope, use it. You got it for a reason. Was, uh, a use person it. who has an, a 19 month old Frenchie uh, bred her. On day 12, on day 18, she's getting a little bit of a bloody discharge, so she's concerned about that. Well, look, um, it's quite normal for dogs to have a discharge after breeding. That in itself is not worrisome. What would be worrisome is a discharge with a temperature that's a 102 or higher, because that would be a sign that maybe she's got pyometria or an infection of her uterus, in which case she needs antibiotics. So I would recommend that you go stick a thermometer in her butt, measure it. If it's 102 or higher, go to the vet. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you got some good information out of it. I hope you subscribe to our channel. Brought to you by mybreedersupply.com. We've been in business for over eight years. We manufacture products to help you have successful breedings, successful whelps, and successful puppies. We've introduced a new subscription service, canineconnect.com. It's a one-year subscription for 129 bucks. And for that, you get two-day free shipping on all, all of your orders. You get 5% off your every order that you place, and you get direct access to our support line to help you with products that you buy from us and general questions about breeding your dogs. It's really a great deal. I hope you subscribe to that. Now the disclaimer. Now, I'm not a licensed veterinarian. I'm not a professional health giver, but I am a guy that's been breeding dogs successfully for over 20 years. Any information you get from my videos is purely at your own risk, if you have any doubts about any of this stuff, you should definitely seek the help of a licensed professional. Again, thanks for watching. Have fun with your doggies. Bye, buddy.